Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up ASUS Zen Wi-Fi XD5 as a repeater. Key point, ASUS Zen units can only extend Wi-Fi networks created by other ASUS hardware, but also can be used as wired access points with any hardware, with any rotors. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you both options. So uh, I have ASUS ROG Rapture as a main rotor and now I will connect this ASUS Zen unit as a repeater of this Wi-Fi network. If your Zen unit was set up as a main rotor before, first you need to do the hard reset. Do this, face the bottom of your unit, uh, find the reset button, it's on the left side over here. Now grab a pin or pen and press and hold this button for about three seconds until you see blinking yellow indicator like this. Then release the button and wait for this indicator to start glowing solid blue. Uh, or look at this indicator, this is actually the same. So once you see this blue indicator, you need to open ASUS Rotor application on your smartphone and tap on the plus icon at the top right, then select Add AI Mesh Node. Now your Zen unit will appear on this screen. Tap on its name. Uh, select this device's location, you can select from this list or scroll down and enter the custom name. But let it be just in living room, tap on apply and it's connected to AI Mesh Node. It says it takes seven minutes to complete the process but actually it takes way less, around two minutes in the end. Now your new node is up and running and you can add another one if you have more Zen units or other ASUS rotors or hit done and go back to the home screen. Now tap on this house icon in the middle and look at your new network configuration. Here is your Zen Wi-Fi unit. You can tap on its name and look at the information about this unit. You can tap on these three dots to reboot or remove device. And now you can just uh, relocate uh, this unit somewhere in Wi-Fi dead zone and enjoy, enjoy your extended Wi-Fi network. For the next example, I'll be using a different router as my internet source. This one is from TP-Link. Let's say you don't have any other Wi-Fi routers, just only this one, and you want to extend your Wi-Fi network. In this case, you can connect your Zen unit as an access point to your main router. To do this, you need Ethernet cable. So uh, what you need is connect the Ethernet cable to blue label Ethernet port. and the other end connect to your router. Like this, I can use any of these ports, they are identical. Uh, you also need ASUS Rotor application in your smartphone, this time it's freshly installed, so let's open the application. Uh, allow to use your location while using the app. And tap on Setup. Select ASUS Zen Wi-Fi series. Find your Zen unit model, it's XD5, tap on that. Now enable camera and scan, or connect manually, but I prefer camera. Allow access to the camera. Now scan the QR code at the bottom of your unit. Try to fit it in this yellow square. Uh, tap on join. Uh, your device is found, so let's get started. It's checking for the internet connection. Uh, so make sure the Ethernet cable is connected to the blue port because only blue port supports the internet connection. Now, if you have special requirements for from your internet service provider, uh, check this checkbox and select the special requirements you need. To do this, you have to contact your provider and ask this question. Uh, now tap on next and let's create a network. Uh, let's name it just ASUS access point, create password. I'm using simple password for this example but you can use stronger password and also you can separate 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks but I prefer dual band so I just tap on next. Uh, now uh, set up your local login account. This is um, like account for administrators of the device. So 
I will also use simple password for this example. Use stronger if you need. You need to confirm your password. Hit done and next. Now it's setting up your network. Now Asus router application wants to join our new network. Let's tap on join. Here is your summary, but uh, this doesn't matter for us. Just tap on finish. Enable notifications or disable them. Uh, this is not necessary actually, but never mind. Uh, so you can enable remote connection, remotely manage the device through a secure encrypted channel and so on. But let's skip this step for now. We need to set up an access point. So what you need is step on settings. Uh, go to system settings and switch operation mode to access point. Now apply, your device will reboot. It takes around three minutes, but actually less. Tap on continue and just wait for the result. And once that loading window disappeared, you need to reconnect your device to the access point. So open your Wi-Fi settings, select Asus access point. Now it's connected. Let's go back to the application, uh, back to home screen. And what I recommend you to do now, if you want to create a seamless Wi-Fi network, uh, tap on this Wi-Fi icon over here. So Wi-Fi icon, next step somewhere on the screen and rename your network. Uh, give it the same name as your main router and set up the same password. In this case, your devices will connect to this access point automatically. Also, uh, if you wish to place it far from your router, of course, you have to have longer cable than mine. And one more thing I want to tell you is uh, if you want to connect ASUS Zen unit to ASUS rotor uh, as an access point, you need to repeat the same steps. But the matter is uh, ASUS rotor application will be already installed on your smartphone. So what you need, you need to connect your ASUS Zen with your ASUS main rotor via Ethernet cable, then tap on this plus icon. And this time do not select add AI mesh node. This time set up a new network. So uh, set it up as new main rotor and then repeat the steps. Go to settings, go to operation mode and switch to access point. That's pretty it. So hope I shared something useful with you. If this video was helpful, consider to subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button to support us. Any questions, comment below and see you in the next videos. Be awesome. Bye guys.